Okay, we're in our research paper series still, and today we're going to talk about the outline for your paper. So I pulled up a, an outline from a student, a past student, um, and you can see how they structured their outline. Um, as you can see right here, she started with her opening, which would also be your introduction. Um, and she pulled in um, some information that would catch the reader's attention because that's what the introduction needs to do and so she did an A, B, and a C of what she would put in um, to catch the reader's attention um, and it's all about um, how much we watch television and the effects of that and the red part I added as a comment that was something that I thought she should add um, because her um, topic was the influence uh, of television uh, on children so then she listed as her second body but it's really her first body um, and she introduces her topic, uh, her first um, point being how does the television influence children towards violence or about violence. Um, and then she put in uh, three supporting details um, in the body. Um, and then she did her third body. How the jump past it. How does te the television influence children about junk food and obesity? And then again, she has her three supporting details um, about that particular body. And then her third body, or fourth body, as she listed it, um, is how, do the, how the television influences children about education and more positive things. So she's doing the, the other side of how television can be positive. Her first two bodies were uh, how it's negative and this one's how it's positive and again she put three supporting details um, about this particular topic or this body and then her conclusion and her conclusion um, is kind of wrapping everything up and telling us how we can prevent the bad influences and encourage the good influences so telling the reader what they can do with the information they just read um, and then again she has her three supporting details and she lists them as ABC so this is a very well structured outline it's the five paragraph format and so she's got introduction three points three bodies and three points in each body and then her conclusion and three points in her conclusion so that is how you should structure your outline for your paper